Hello dear viewers, Assalamualaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Reza Allah. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. We know in industrial system, different types of disease systems are using. Hanuel disease system is one of the most reliable and renowned disease system to control or operate their plant. Today, I will discuss about the reconfiguration procedure of any control or display logic program in configuration studio of a Honeywell disease system. Before start my video, I request you, if you new covered in my channel, please subscribe and uh, ring the bell button. If you already subscribed, so thank you. So let's start my video. First we go to the workstation. First I will discuss what we want to do in my in this my video. Now I am finding the tag number which I want to modify the problem. You see this is the our desired tag number that we want to reconfigure this one. So we go to the chart and I will show what I want to do. What is the main reason of our the changing the reconfiguration of this program. This is the display program of any of the tag, tag that is the analyzer of our plant. We want to reconfigure this one or uh, the operating range is you see, it is the operating range is uh, the 0 to 20 and the alarm set is 10 micro siemens per centimeter square. We want to reconfigure this one, it is showing the 0 to 20 range. So for that we go to the configuration studio. We know if you want to change any of the program, we have to go to the configuration studio. This is the logic program software. And your system two type of software we are using. One is the HMI web builder software and the configuration studio software for logic development. So we go to the configuration studio and connect with the server and then go to the control strategy. Everyone, the user of this annual system that you know how can we connect the control logic. We go to the configuration studio software, then go to the control study, then to the configure the process parameters, go to the this side. And here you can see the controller of the plant that is are using. There are the two types of step is project mode and the monitor mode. In the project mode, we have to be the con reconfigure. And in the monitoring mode, we can uh, see the status of the same program. So we go to the we search the, the desired tag that we want to the reconfigure, put the tag number and go to the play button and you can see the details of this uh, tag, you see it is the monitor mode. If we want to change the any configuration, we have to go to the project mode. So we go to the project mode and uh, type the tag number and open this, you see this is the open and it is showing the project configuration mode. Now we go to the, to the base program. This program we have to be, don't have to change any one. So go to the DSA value that you want to the change the range of this transmitter. We so see it is showing the 0 to 20. We have to change it to 20, uh, 0 to 80. So we put the 0 to 80 range. And uh, high extension rate PB, extended high range you have to also change. We, put the in the 80.9, we can also change this one. We have to also change the, in the lower range, no need to change because the lower range, we don't change it, we don't change the lower range, so we don't need to change this one, the PB extended lower limit, only we change the high limit and the extended high limit. And then we have to also change the range of this uh, alarm setting of this transmitter. So we change the alarm setting from 10 to 40 micro siemens per centimeter square. It is the analyzer of this, this is the unit, unit, unit of this transmitter is the micro siemens per centimeter square, centimeter. Then after changing all the parameter, you see, press the OK button. After press the OK button, the offset will be go to the, you see, again, I can check that is the change, is the change or not. This is already changed. Then you close it. When you close it, then the program will be saved. And the left side format where the technology you see they have shown that the, the upload sign, you see. Left side is shown the upload sign that is not the active program. It is a 
change in the configure program is changed, but it is not active. If you want to active this one, you have to be select and you have to be load or download the controller. So we select this program and upper side you show the download or load sign. You see, select and go to the press the load button, press the container here is showing an alarm, but that means the uh, warning. It is only showing that it is the control logic program, if you have the program you have to be become to 0 and they go to the uh, raw value, so it is showing an warning. Then check mark this a uh, 2 point and they press the OK button. You see it is taking some time to loading the parameter of this uh, logic program. It is the display program, it is the only for display, the transmitter value will be displayed in the DC system, not it is use, using in the control system of any of the parameter, it is only the display program. This, you see, after the load, load is completed, press the OK button. When the load is completed, then the button will be active and you can press the OK button, you see, it is the loading the parameter of this, go to the load mode. You see, it is taking time to prepare the download mode. You see, now the creating the program data that means the data will be transmitting or the downloading to the controller. You see, step by step, all the program is it, all the parameters of this tag is downloading to the controller. You see, server load complete that means it is showing the loading is completed. Now I check in the project mode, so then when you go to the monitor mode and we see that is the changing is okay or not okay. I have changed the range of this transmitter from 0 to 20, before the range was 0 to 20 and I change it to the 0 to 80 and the error point is changed to the 10 to 40. Now I check this one, you see, double click and see if the change 0 to 80 that means the range already changed and the error is 0 to 40, before it was a 10 that was changing is completed. Now, I will go to the station, I will show that is the changing value is showing on the people, it was showing the 10, now it is showing the 40, that means the our range is showing this successfully. It is the easy procedure of any of the user of this hardware system can do their changing their program. In the same procedure, you can change any of the control or logic program of this annual DCA system. You see, in the in the very simple way, I will show how can you change the any program of this Hanover DCA system. You see, if you think this value, this video is very helpful to you, please subscribe my channel and uh, share to the other the, your friend that they can the learn about the about the DCA system or Hanover DCA system. In my next video, I will show how can you make a force value in the Hanover DCA system to maintenance and user transmitter please so, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching